Good day everyone, our topic for today is all about Zetas, difference between two sample means. But before we proceed, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button below for more updates. Now in solving the Zetas, difference between two sample means, we need to do or to use this critical region in testing hypothesis on Zetas. So we have the 1 tilde and 2 tilde and 0 0.05 to 0 0.10 as the level of significance. So these uh, numbers here are what we call the level of significance or alpha, and these are the tilde. What is good in the difference between two sample means? It is always two tilde. So we will use two tilde. And these numbers are what we call the critical value that will be used uh, that we will be gonna use in the decision making whether to accept or reject our computed value or the HO or the HA. And also remember that Zetas is only applicable if the number of population is greater than or equal to 30. Now, uh, the formula for difference between two sample means is this. Z equals mean 1 minus mean 2 square root of the variance over n1 plus the variance over n2. Uh, the first, the, the number with sub 1, or the letters with sub 1, I mean, are the first element. And the, num uh, the letters with sub 2 are the second elements. X means mean. The S means the standard deviation. And the N is number of samples. To understand it better, let's have an example. A sample of 70 observations is selected from the normal population. The sample mean is 2.78 and the uh, standard de deviation is 0 0.83. Another sample of 58 observations are selected from normal population. The mean sample is 2.63 with the standard deviation of 0 0.75. Test the hypothesis using alpha equals 0 0.05 as the level of significance. So how to do this one? First, write the, uh, write the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. For the null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the first sample and the second sample. For the alternative hypothesis, there is a significant difference between the first sample and the second sample. Or it can be there is no significant difference between the 70 observation and the 58 observations. And for the HA, there is a significant difference between the 70 observation and 58 observations. Now, to, uh, to determine naman for the alpha, we have um, given 0 0.05. Very obvious naman siya. This is the alpha. For the tail, just like what I've said, in the difference between two sample means, we will use two tailed, so it's two tailed. And then looking to the back to the critical region, if we will put two tailed and 0 0.05 and put uh, get their intersection in the critical region, you will get positive negative 1.96 or 960. Okay, 1.96. So this is now our critical value uh, as our comparison later for our solve or computed value if whether to accept or reject the HO. Okay, so um, using the formula, uh, mean 1 minus mean 2 of, uh, over square root of the variance over n1 plus variance over n2, let's first determine the given before we solve. So for the mean 1, the mean of the first observation, our first observation are 70. The mean is 2.78 and the sample deviation is 0 0.83. So this is 0 0.83. This n is 2.78. The mean, uh, I'm sorry, the mean is 2.78. The standard deviation is 0 0.83 and the n is 70. For the next one, we have 58 observation with the mean of 2.63 and standard deviation to 0 0.75. So we have 2.63, this one is um, 0 0.75, and this one is, I think that's 58. Now put it on the, um, uh, on the formula. So we have 2.78 minus 2.63. 63 all over square root of quantity 0 0.83 squared over 70 plus quantity 0 0.75 squared over 58. So you can solve this using a scientific calculator. I'll uh, put all these numbers and then you will get the answer. But if you're just using a cell phone, you may follow me. First, um, uh, type 
First, 0 0.83, I mean open parenthesis, 0 0.83, close parenthesis, squared. Click equals and divide your answer to 70. Okay? And then, plus 0 0.7, uh, open parenthesis, 0 0.75, close parenthesis, squared, divide 58. Divide 58. And then, click equals. And then, your answer, on the first part of your answer, let's say your answer is 0 point, um, 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, on the uh, before 0, maglagay ka ng square root doon. Okay? Just type the square root there. And then, click equals. Okay. Then, write first your answer or maybe round off your answer to the nearest 10 thousands or four decimal places. After that, uh, first solve the 2.78 minus 2.63 and then divide it to your answer here. Okay? And you will get 1.07. Yung sinabi ko, gagawin mo lang yun kung wala kang scientific calculator. Pero kung meron ka naman scientific na calculator, so pwede naman na diretsyo na. Uh, Itatype mo lang yung buong yan sa scientific calculator and you will get 1.07. Uh, always remember that round off your answer to the nearest hundreds or two decimal places. Now, um, this is our... Critical region, 1.96. Kapag nasa loob ang asking answers, accept HO. Kapag lumabas, accept HA. Our answer is 1.07. Mas, mas malit siya kaysa sa 1.96. Therefore, accept HO, reject HA. Now, how about the conclusion? To conclude, balik ka sa number 1. Step 1, ano ang HO natin? Ang HO natin is... There is no significant difference between the first sample, which is 70, and the second sample, which is 58. Therefore, that's the conclusion. Kung ano ang HO mo or kung ano ang mo, siya yung magiging conclusion mo. Just go back to step 1 and get this statement and put it in the conclusion. Okay? Now, let's have number 2. The amount of a search and trace element in the blood is known to vary with a standard deviation of 14.1 ppm parts per million for male blood donors and 9.5 ppm for female donors. Random samplers of 75 male and 50 female donors yields concentration means of 28 and 33, respectively. What is the likelihood that the population mean of the concentration of the element are the same for men and women? Does the hypothesis using alpha is equal 0.05 as the level of significance. So this is the problem. First, determine the uh, H, O, and H, A. So in determining, the, find the question. The question is this one, right? Um, yeah. So the likelihood, alisin mo lang yung what is, the likelihood that the population mean of concentration of the elements are the same for men and women. So that is our H, O. Okay, because the statement is positive and, uh, yeah, it's positive. It's, it, it says equal. R means equal. Okay, or R the same. So, for the HA naman, the population means of concentration of the elements are not the same for the men and women. Ganun lang naman na laging ginagawa sa HO and HA. Okay, laging equal and not equal. Okay, now, uh, Ginagawa lang ito sa Z-test. Uh, iklaro ko lang, sa Z-test, uh, difference between two sample means. Pero sa kapag ma single proportion or a difference between the comparing uh, single single mean and population mean, uh, magkiba yon. Meron kasi silang mga uh, tiyatawag nilang non-directional and directional. So, uh, pag sabihin directional, I mean non-directional, -di yeah, pwede siyang lower, higher, lowest, highest. Okay? So, less than, greater than. So, meron siyang mga ganun sa kanyang alternative. Pero, kapag naman like this, in our topic, difference between two sample means, so, automatic, um, laging equal yan or no significant difference. Okay? For the alpha, we have 0 0.05. Tilled is two-tailed. Uh, then, uh, going to our um, critical region, makikita mo that their intersection is 1.96. Now, first determine the N1. The N1 is 75. From the 75 female, uh, uh, male, I mean, N1 is the population, right? There is a standard uh, deviation of what? 14.1. And the mean is 
The concentration means of 28. For the N2, we have 50 female. The S2, or the standard deviation of female, is 9.5. At yan. Female for 9.5. And it has 33 ppm for the concentration mean. Put it in the formula. So we have this one. You can type it directly to your calculator or just solve it man, uh, manually. Uh, I mean, solve it on your cell phone uh, little by little. So you can start here plus your answer here and then get the square root. After that, div, uh, subtract the two and divide your answer. Uh, divide your answer here to your answer in the denominator. And again, pending ganyan din, you will get negative 2.37. Okay, and for the decision, this is our critical region. Kung lumagpas siya, accept HA. Pag nasa loob, accept HO. Our answer is negative 2.37, which is obviously uh, less than negative 1.96, right? Kasi ang 1.96 ay positive negative. So, meron tayong positive, negative 1.96 here and then uh, positive 1.96 here, so lumagpas. So therefore, accept HA, reject HO. And then go to the statement of HA, and the statement is the population means of concentration of the elements are not the same for men and women. That's our conclusion. And that's all about ZS difference between two sample means. With that, thank you very much for your listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And hit the notification button below for more updates. Bye-bye.